The Memphis Police Department is catching so much heat for its proposed new approach to curbing juvenile crime downtown. Well, today it announced that plan is on hold. Just Friday, MPD announced the so-called Juvenile Crime Abatement Program, saying it would boost officer patrols downtown and try to combat unruly behavior. Stefan Reels is live from downtown Memphis for us tonight. Uh, Stefan, why did MPD initially decide it needed to take this new approach? Well, Richard, it was all around making places like Beale Street downtown behind me safe. And in a video, MPD Assistant Chief of Police Don Crow said this was mainly to create a safe environment here, primarily for adults by cracking down on youth crime, pretty much what they determined as disruptive behavior. Simply, it could have been dancing, it could have been loud music, it could be open to interpretation. And once news of this broke, critics of this were really worried about the unintended consequences this program could cause, like driving up the children in custody at the juvenile court or at the Department of Children's Services. But once this news did break, concerned citizen lawmakers and everyone in between were contacting the city of Memphis and the Memphis Police Department. And this afternoon, a downtown Memphis Commission spokesperson confirmed that MPD had halted the program for now until additional details can be discussed at a meeting coming up. Now, a downtown Memphis business owner I spoke to felt uneasy about this proposal and worried it would unfairly target young people. And instead, that business owner said there needs to be a greater focus on the root of the causes of juvenile crime, like juvenile poverty. On how to make sure that moving forward, we are able to provide those um, services, those things that would make these kids feel like they're part of the process. And Richard, that meeting I discussed between the DMC, MPD, and leaders at the city of Memphis will be happening tomorrow afternoon. But coming up tonight at 6, we'll be talking with Senator Ramesh Akberry, who is one of the most critical about this program, and hear what they have to say coming up later tonight. But for now, live at downtown Memphis, I'm Stefan Reels.